Good morning, day 18, I think. All I know is I have, including today, eight walking days left. And let's see, it's another cool morning, but not as bad as yesterday. The bars in town were closed this morning, which I kind of knew. There were signs advertising, you know, open at seven for breakfast, but I think those are normal hours during the week, today, Saturday, and there was a big fiesta last night. And so <laughs> whenever there was a big party that apparently started at midnight and there were still some groups of people out when I walked through the village. Anyway, um, didn't expect for there to be a bar open. I was hopeful, so I kind of circled around and checked just in case, but did have coffee at the albergue. I had a little bread. My food supplies are getting a little low and now we're getting into the weekend. So things could get tricky. Um, I think there is a little shop in the town where I'm headed today, but it closes at 1.30. Tomorrow's Sunday, so everything's closed. On Monday, often some stuff is closed. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna hope I can just get food in bars and restaurants and I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got emergency tuna deep down in my pack. So <laughs> just in case, I know I won't starve. Anyway, yeah, so there are two pilgrims in the albergue with me last night, these two Italian women, and they're also going to the same town tonight, so we should all be in the same albergue together. And I was just looking at, like, um, the register book at the, the albergue last night, and it looks like there's a group of, like, four who stayed there the night before, and then the night before that, like, a group of five or six. So there are definitely other pilgrims in the coming days, um, and I think it depends if I keep walking big stages, which today's not so big. I think today's just like 23 or 24 kilometers, but then I've got a couple of pretty big stages. So it's possible that I may catch up, but then I get to Orense, which is about a hundred kilometers from Santiago. And also given that it's August and it's a route that you can get a Compostela on if you start in Orense, I do think there are going to be more pilgrims starting there. Uh, probably more Spanish pilgrims, but in any case, more pilgrims. So, so I think the kind of vibe of this Camino is going to be changing for me. It's, you know, crossing into Galicia today. It's a lot more green, as you can see, and it's not going to be quite as quiet. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited. This feels like now, this is actually the second half of this Camino. I had 16 days on this route. I've walked eight. I've got eight to go. So we'll see what this half brings. climb wow it is longer than I thought it would be each time the trail starts to level out I'm like oh great almost at the top no no still more to go now it feels like we must be reaching the top but yeah I don't know but look how pretty it is okay okay I do actually think the top is soon so I'm gonna finish this off and look at that we are in Galicia. Got our pilgrim friend here. All right, we made it. And here is a map of the stages I have left. So I was here yesterday morning, here last night, going here today, continuing to Laza, and then I'm going up this way. It's a little shorter to Orense. That's where the last hundred kilometers begins. Coming up here, taking a little detour. Up, 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 up to Santiago.
right, well, the bar in that village was closed. That was the only possibility of services on this entire stage. So I am about halfway through. I think I've got 12 kilometers left to go. I am gonna keep walking, but look for a spot where I can sit and have some snacks. And it's a bit of a bummer, some coffee. Tortilla would have been nice, a croissant. I haven't had many croissants on this Camino. Okay, <laughs> better keep going. was exactly what I was hoping for. A little spot to take a break. I thought, oh, if there's a church, I could sit somewhere and there are picnic tables here. So I took off my shoes and socks, airing my feet out. I'm gonna have a little bite to eat. I don't have a ton of food with me, but I am gonna cobble together something. <laughs> and this will be kind of my break for the day and then I'll continue on. I think I've got maybe eight or nine kilometers left to go. This albergue in Agudinha is so beautiful. It's new and clean. Look at the view from the window. I'm not really sure what's going on with that pool, if it belongs to this property or not, but oh, it's just amazing. are so big and clean too and look soap and paper towels <laughs> 